All right, in this Geek Tip video, I'm going to show you how to change the location of personal folders in Windows 11. Now, with a lot of systems nowadays are actually come with two drives, and uh, you know the first drive is going to be basically your operating system and program files, and uh, you know a lot of them are actually solid state drives, the first drive, and you know they read and write really fast. You know they're or more valuable real estate than the uh, a second drive which is normally a hard disk drive so your user folders can actually accumulate a lot a lot of data you know your documents your downloads your pictures your music your videos they're all there those are all your special folders and these things are going to take a lot of space over time so highly recommend if you have two drives best thing you can do is actually move your personal folders over to the second drive. Now one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to remap your personal folders to an external drive or a mapped drive such as you can see here I've got a couple of mapped drives. You don't want to put your personal folders on there because when you log on to your computer it's got to go to your desktop folder and if your desktop folder is over on an external drive or a map drive it could take a little longer to actually get your system to actually log on and have your desktop show up and heaven forbid you lose connection with a mapped folder you know either an external drive or a network drive and you lose that connection and you you know try to log again you know you, you're not going to be able to load your desktop up uh, it'll take a long time and it'll eventually it'll fail so you be on the safe side it's best to actually put your personal folders on an internally connected drive on your computer and if you have that second drive like we have here you know that's the way to do it so what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder here I've already got one made called user files and then uh, inside of there uh, user specific if you're gonna have multiple users on the computer I recommend you make a specific folder here underneath the user files for each user so this is the geeks in Phoenix folder there's nothing in here right now so we're actually going to go ahead and, and uh, make these up here real quick so let's go ahead and create a new folder we're going to do desktop. We'll make up these. Uh, oops. We'll make up these special folders real quick. So now we got our, our six special folders, and we're now going to move the contents of the remap the original folders. So it's going to be here underneath the users folder, and of course, we're going to see GIP, which is Geeks in Phoenix, and then we have all the special folders here. So we're going to right click on the special folders, we're going to go to the properties of it. You'll notice that on these special folders there's a tab called location these are the only folders you'll actually find that tab so we're going to move this desktop folder we're going to put it over here desktop we're going to select that folder click apply say yes we do want to do that and boom you'll notice it's gone now it's no longer located here underneath the uh, GIP users so we're going to go through let's go ahead and remap all of them here you'll notice that they as we 
remap them, their properties, such as the the icon actually transfers over to them. So, and the nice thing is, as you do this, it'll actually move over any files in that folder too. As we go through here, all right, rip through these real quick. And videos, last one. Now, real quick, if you ever wanted to, you could actually click on Restore Default. And it'll actually move everything back and create a new folder back in that original user folder. So, it, it's a neat little thing there. But these are all actually, uh, this is more of a, a registry uh, setting for all these folders okay so there now we got it all out let's go over here we're going to look over here on the d drive and there you notice they all now have the special icon they all have their special folders if we right click on one of them we go to the properties you'll see we have the location tab so and if we ever needed to and wanted to we could actually restore default that'll actually put it back to its default location so but now what happens if for some reason you can't edit you you can't get to these you need to you know put the default settings back in place so now like I told you before it's all just a, a these are all just registry changes in the registry that remaps these locations so I'm going to show you the registry real quick now for more detailed information on on how to do this i recommend you click on the link to the full article that's down in the description of this video because uh, you know this is the video is not something you really want to go by when it comes to editing the registry so go over to the the full article you'll actually see all the print written down all the the different registry keys and their values and all that but I'm going to show you really quick so I'm just going to open up registry editor real quick I've already got the key already set up so you can actually see here now all these they used to be user profiles now they're all over into user files and just to give you an idea I actually took a screenshot of that so I'm just going to go into the pictures and here it is. So this is the way the registry looked before I remapped the drives. And you notice everything is mapped to the user profile directory. And now they're all mapped over to the D drive. So basically, you save anything to your, you download anything, it's going to go over to that D drive. You you know, download any pictures from your camera, they're going to go over to the D drive. You download any music files, they're going to go over to the D drive. Everything of your personal folders is now going to go over to the D drive. So, for more geek tips, go on over to geeksandphoenix.com. And uh, other than that, have a great day and we'll talk to you later.